Hello everyone. I'm coming to you from my laundry room. Do you know what? It's so nice. See this little pile of laundry here? This is another load that is clean. Just need to like fold it. And then there's a load in here. And there's a load down there. I left the house this morning with one load. Washed and moved. And now there has been one, two, three loads since I left. And that's all because my wonderful husband. So he might steal and lie about s'mores, but he'll step up and do laundry when I'm gone all day. It's two o'clock and here, let me put you down so we can talk while I, where can I put you? Hang on. Yes, honey, I'm looking at all the laundry you've done and giving you all the credit on the channel. You've done a, thank you. <laughs> He's grinning from ear to ear, you guys. He wants all the credit because I actually do not tend to let him do laundry. That may sound controlling and it is. 100%. I don't like how other people do laundry. <laughs> so in order to not be mad about that, I take it upon myself to do my own laundry. Totally fine. I don't get mad if he doesn't help, but I do appreciate if he does help. But I purposely saved loads that were easy and that he doesn't have to decipher between all the girls' clothes, which is hard. It is hard to know whose clothes are whose. So I do those loads, which is what's coming out. But the towels are easy to like just keep put in and rotate through. So we're on our third load of towels, I think. I did not do any laundry all weekend, and it shows. <laughs> Took a break over the weekend. So, I went to the dentist this morning. This upper corner of my mouth is still numb, even at two o'clock, and we're gonna pause on my dental work because we're coming up on $6,000 worth of damage that we actually can't afford. <laughs> and I still have two more crowns, two, possibly three more crowns. Oops, you're getting jiggly. Sorry. <laughs> Let me put you somewhere stable. All right, so I've got to get laundry continued here. Chat here while I get this done. But, where was I? Going? So I went to the dentist this morning and then went to the grocery store and to Target. We go through so much shampoo and conditioner with all of us girls and it's ridiculous. I gotta teach my kids how to like one pump. Just do one pump of each <laughs> because we just go through it like crazy. But I'll update you. those of you who care. I found soft soap. Soap refill, one bottle left at Safeway. So I bought it, probably overpriced because I bought it at a grocery store versus like Costco or Target. I also, okay get this you guys, I went to Safeway, finished up on stocking up on stuff because we kind of feel like this new round of COVID panic is gonna hit. We had a list of stuff to get from the grocery store as well. We had like brown sugar, I got yeast before it sold out again. So I got a whole bunch of stuff. My total was $125, I've got it here. My total receipt, see if I can show you. It won't, it doesn't say that before. It was like 125. I brought my total down because I bought everything on sale or like used a digital coupon on my app. I brought my total to $67.87. You guys check this out. Can you see that? I saved 53%. I literally just went to the store with a list of things that we had to get. Like I wasn't going off of a sale. I wasn't going off of I actually added cereal. The cereal was four bo buy four boxes for $5, but you had to buy four boxes. Guess what? We bought eight boxes, because that's how we roll. Because that's like a week's worth of <laughs> cereal if they eat cereal every day. Crazy, crazy. And if I hadn't paid attention to just the digital coupons, you guys, it's insane. If I had just gone into the store and bought cereal and rice, and you know yeast and not paid attention to the sales and the coupons that I can get on my phone they're like seriously you scan the item in your cart and then it loads the coupon to your card it's just ridiculous if you don't want to save it or then I'm gonna scan my receipt and get my fetch points I'm coming up on 10,000 points which is worth a $10 Amazon gift card which is amazing so my next goal is to finish decorating my porch I haven't really talked about decorating in many, many, many months, like since COVID started, because I don't care. I don't care to decorate my home because I'm not in my home. I mean, I'm in my home, but no one else is. And I just, for whatever reason, I don't feel like celebrating any of the holidays or any of the seasons. I just don't care. Maybe that's bad for my kids, but we haven't come up on like any major season or holiday that like they're gonna be damaged for not celebrating. We'll be doing Christmas, for sure. I am gonna go and see if I can find some fake white pumpkins, because I really have a hard time spending money on pumpkins to begin with, let alone like when I'm not really like celebrating the holiday. 
Do you know what I mean? I don't even know if we're having Halloween. Like, I don't even know if we're going trick-or-treating. They say right now that our district county can go trick-or-treating, I think, but I don't know if I want my kids to. You know what I mean? Are you guys like gonna go trick-or-treating or your kids or your grandkids or your neighborhoods? Like wherever you're at, like are you guys going trick-or-treating? I just, I don't know what to do. I wanna decorate the porch. Cause that's what people can see. And if that makes people happy to walk by and see a cute porch, and if my kids are happy to see it when they come home, and then when their comes, friends come and ask them to play, they can't come in to play anymore, but if they see cute decorations from the porch, that's kind of fun. I'm babbling. Let me get this laundry done, and maybe Abby will wanna go with me to Hobby Lobby, and we'll decorate the porch itself. That video will be a separate video, so we'll, we'll go to that point. Check that out, I got 117 points from my groceries. Dude, check out how many I got from uh, Target, man. And look at the couponkins. 462 points. What did you get? I only got the shampoo. Oh, I guess Suave. Suave had 65 points a bottle. That's amazing. Well, that's just fabulous. So I have, I have like 8,000 points. Just almost 8,000 points. So I'm 2,000 away from $10 Amazon card. You can choose anything you want. So if you guys join right now, this is a little plug that I'll just, you know, put there right now. Not only did they used to do a 2,000 point referral bonus, now they're doing a 4,000 re like referral bonus. So you could start halfway, almost halfway to your $10 gift card. So I would how, how do they start if they, you get points if they? Yeah, I get points, but they get points too. Oh they'll get an immediate 4,000 points. Oh. Yeah. But plus whatever points you get from uploading that first receipt. Anyway, I'm waiting for Abby to be done. See if she wants to do Hobby Lobby with me so I can finish Wait. my porch. You're going to Hobby Lobby? You don't ever tell your husband. That was my first mistake right now. You don't ever tell your husband that you're going to Hobby Lobby. What do, do you, you, you don't? My porch. Do you want me? Okay, here's the question. Yeah, I don't care about the porch. It's the, the, we're not have a celebrating anything. I know, I know. So that's why I don't want to waste the money on buying a real pumpkin because I don't even want to carve it. I don't think we're having trick or treaters. Now I have to go deal with him knowing I'm gonna go to Hobby Lobby. So I gotta. Well, be. I'm gonna go to the store. You're free. Yeah, he's oh, see. I'm free. I'm free to just go. You're free. <laughs> you were free when I got God. home two hours ago. God. I'm not doing my hike. I didn't say you could or couldn't, honey. I just I needed you here this morning so the kids had someone to help them with school. I know, I do have to help them a couple of times. Yeah. Luckily, I can schedule my dentist appointments on Mondays and Fridays. They're open on those days, and I don't know. No one else takes those appointments, so. All right, we did not find what we wanted at Hobby Lobby because I think it already like convinced myself we wanted real ones from here at the grocery store. Look how cute that one is. And then I'll give you a little sneak peek. Look at this cool one. I just didn't want like orange, orange, like regular pumpkins. See the difference between these two? I just, I love this deeper color. So that's a little sneak peek at my porch. That's what we've gotten so far. You know, I'm like needing to have these little ones. Super cute. All right, Abby and I are home and I have done the porch. You guys, I don't, I don't have the money nor the desire, but maybe if I had the money, I will correct myself. If I had the money, I would put way more effort into my front porch. That is true. I would get the haystack. I would get the little, you know, the corn husk thingy. I'm not gonna show you. We're just gonna go out here because I'm hot. Maybe I'll give you a sneak peek. Okay, that's all you're gonna get. But I have finished the porch. What I'm gonna do so far, actually at all. No, so far. I am going to do stuff for Halloween. We're gonna put up spider webs that cost a dollar and some spooky lights, probably just like the orange lights across the top. I might pull in our, you know those lights that we have in our backyard, like the little twinkle light. Um, I might move those to the front yard just for winter in general because it gets so dark here and they don't put street lights anywhere in our entire city, I feel like. I might put those on closer to Halloween. It just depends on if we're actually going to have Halloween. Again, I don't know. I'm not gonna show you the whole porch because I feel like when I have like, you know, porch decorations, I need to have just 
that as the video so that someone doesn't have to like sort through all my gibberish to get to that. If you want to see my porch, just stay tuned. It'll be going up probably the day after this one goes up. So now I have to go film that. So you guys need to stay tuned. <laughs> And I'll be right back. I don't know how much more we're gonna film today. It might be a really really boring video I don't know the kids are gone playing Jason is working on my car I don't know what Abby went with me But now Kaylee is with her friend and the girls are all playing so I'm gonna film this really quick It's really not gonna take long because I didn't do very much, but it is really cute Just know that if I had more money, it would be a whole lot more elaborate I saw two or three things at Hobby Lobby that I would have gotten if I had more of a budget But I don't and that's okay. I am so tired you guys. It's 5 30. I'm a little ahead of the game on dinner because I'm tired. So I'm gonna, I call this cheating. No, I know it's like dinner. We're gonna do French toast because we have a bunch of eggs. Are these ones frozen, Jay? No, I These ones are fine? Okay. We have a janky fridge that if you put any more in the freezer, it's our fridge that's outside. If you put more, any more food in the freezer than what's currently in there, it'll freeze what's in the fridge. So that's why we don't use the fridge very much, but milk can go in there because milk can freeze. And then we can just thaw that out. But we put in all that extra freezer food that we got at Costco last week, and now it's all frozen. Now all of our eggs. Not all of them. I Not all of them. them. I rescued them. There were ten. Right. I ate five, and then put there were ten the eggs other. that were frozen. Yeah, I put them in two different bowls. One morning I ate five eggs, and then the next yeah, morning. Sunday. Anyway, we have three, four dozen more okay. eggs. Not that we're using it. I don't know what to put the eggs. Oh, I'm so tired. Can you get down one of those, Chase, up there? Yeah. Like one of those? I'm working on it. Tupperware clear up there? Uh, to crack the eggs into. No, you got rid of all the good ones. No, like one of that one right there. That's not gonna work. Yes, it will for French toast. No. Yes, it will. No, it won't fit it very well. Yes, it will. He's mad that I got rid of Tupperware. It's not gonna work very well. It I will. Like the square well, we don't have it, so get over it. I know, because you keep throwing them out. Throw them I threw crop. out one batch of, of Tupperware that hardly had any that matched the lid, so it's okay. We're gonna put you guys down here for a second. done with laundry no we're ending our day still with laundry so I'm actually gonna take this you know whoops I dropped some on the floor oops I do not like laundry being on the couch I'm folding it here but these are all folded and I'd rather sit down tonight fold it from home there so I'm gonna fold that from the couch tonight as I watch like Netflix or something. And then there's one more load. It looks like it's Kaylee and Abby's laundry, but they have one sweatshirt that didn't make it in. So don't know when that's gonna get washed. But look, there's nothing in there. We're almost done. I think there is, oh, dang it. Oh, I'm too tired. We never see you guys anymore. Did you guys get your French toast? Yeah. I went to get Kaylee, so he's been gone for a little while. Chelsea didn't like eat it. Chelsea didn't eat. Oh, she doesn't. Do you not feel good? No. No, she just doesn't. You just didn't want French toast. She didn't like. How you doing, Goober? I'm good. I never see you. Yeah. You do school in your room, and then you dash out for recess. Yeah. And then I see you for a bit before bed. Yeah. yeah. I see you more because I have to monitor your homework. But you did really good today. Yeah, it was easy. It was easy today. Oh gosh, I'm tired. I just went and got Kaylee from her friend's house. Talked to my brother. Um, <laughs> I'm just so tired. I'm, I don't know, I'm not sleeping good at night. 
I think I went to bed at 11 o'clock last night thinking, okay, I'm good. I have to get up early to go to the dentist and I did not fall asleep until one in the morning and I probably should have taken melatonin around 11.30 and just called it good, but I thought I would, I was tired, so I thought I would go to sleep. And then I woke up at four in the morning and then at six in the morning and then right before my alarm went off at seven, we woke up and then was annoyed with the alarm at seven o'clock. So I snoozed until eight o'clock, so then that's not good restful sleep anyway. I just told Jason before I went to get Kaylee that uh, I just got the alert that I, on the security camera, that I left the house. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Our cameras are working quite well. I just told him, I said, I think when the kids go to bed, I'm gonna get my pajamas on and curl up in bed because there's no TV shows playing. Our, lately, our internet is so bogged down at you know, eight o'clock at night from everyone else. I don't even know what they're doing. Still working from home or that I can't get Netflix to play on the TV. The internet just swirls around and doesn't get it to play. So I might just go to bed. So I'm gonna end this video here. I really don't even know what to call this video today because again, you can't see like all the behind the scenes stuff that we were doing. Tomorrow though, I think if I have enough energy and if I get this video edited really, really quick in the morning, I might do the applesauce. So you guys wanted to see the applesauce. I'm gonna do four different ways. Just as a teaser, I'll tell you. We're gonna learn how to make it in a pot, in a crock pot, in an instant pot, and the Victorio strainer. So four different methods of doing applesauce from scratch. Also a little tidbit, I don't put anything else in it except for a little smidge of water. There's zero sugar. All the apples have sugars in them, and it's just how you cook them down to bring all those sugars. And it's so good, you guys. Maybe I'll make, if it goes well, maybe I'll make some like banana bread or some spice cake or something, because that's really good on cold days. I think the rain is coming on Wednesday or Thursday this week. I love making a spice cake and pouring warm applesauce with some cinnamon on it. Oh, that sounds so good when it's cold. I still kind of have warm days right now, so I'm not really in the mood for that yet, but cold nights have hit. And I'm gonna go get my sweatpants and call it a night. So thank you for joining us. I don't know what I'm gonna call this, but I'm calling it a night. All right, take care you guys, night.